Hey there, folks. So this is the March 2018 Super Geek Box unboxing. Uh, Super Geek Box is the newest of the geek-themed boxes uh, that I subscribe to and unbox here on the channel. Uh, I think we're coming up just about on the one-year anniversary since I picked them up. Um, I, I grabbed them in the wake of um, Nerd Blocks starting to suck. And, of course, when I say that, I'm actually kind of curious now because I, I got some emails. Apparently, um, NerdBlock or whoever's controlling what's left of the company, they've sold off both of their respective um, sub-brands. So, NerdBlock is now coming back. Uh, and, likewise, uh, Shirt Punch is already back. I had about 10 outstanding orders when they folded. And they sent me a voucher for one. Um, so I'll, I'll probably pick up one shirt and give it a try. But, you know, I'm kind of like getting over the whole shirt thing, if only because I have a rack just like that behind me. And two of the shelves are filled. Each one has three stacks of kind of geek-themed T-shirts. So... We'll see. Uh, likewise, when NerdBlock comes back, uh, if whoever's controlling the operation, um, they, they make some kind of outreach to the customers who got burned, we'll see about bringing them back. But that is not about NerdBlock. This is about Super Geek Box. So, I said that because when they started sucking, I pulled up Super Geek Box, and they've really, really, um, they have been a pleasant thing to, uh, oh my god. Uh, they, they have been a pleasant company uh, to get packages from. Um, you know, remember, one of the things that I always talk about in these videos, I'm looking for what I call little moments of joy. Uh, that is to say, you know, little surprises, just sometimes you get something cool. It's like, you know, pulling that card in Monopoly that you just spontaneously get $200. That's what I'm looking for from these boxes. I'm looking for the boxes. You know, it's just like, oh my God, this is cool. This is fun. And they didn't disappoint. Oh, so the other thing is, um, the one thing that Super Key Box does very well is they have some of the most awesome ways. Uh, I think Nerd Create is the sub brand that they're doing this under um, of getting around Nintendo's uh, intellectual property lawyers. Uh, they they will use stuff that they've just brazenly taken from Nintendo, but they've named it in a way that Nintendo can't come after them. And that, that's half the fun. But, uh, so what I pulled out first, and what I've been holding in my hands is, because Disney and Marvel now symbiotically coexist, uh, this is a Tsum Tsum Spider-Man 3D Lite. Um, I'm not that familiar with the Tsum Tsum license, I, I know they're kind of cutified um, versions of Marvel characters or Disney characters. Uh, so, I'm going to open this up and we're going to take a look at it. And see, it, it is indeed 3D. And it, it kind of has that... It's not quite as bad as a, uh, as, as a Funko Pop. I have a pair of scissors. Why am I trying to rip it open with my fingernails? There we go. And we have the obligatory tag with all the warnings. And static electricity. And the piece of plastic. And there it is. So I'm really hoping that this strobing effect is part of the product and not just a cheap battery. But, you know, again, it's kind of one of those fun, I could put this on my desk, um, just kind of one of those fun little kitschy things. So we're going to move on. The next thing thing is okay so this is a 50 piece marvel avengers puzzle it'll come out to five inches by seven inches by the time everything is done uh it's branded right right there if we can see that it is branded avengers initiative you know i i living in north carolina every time i see that um that title it's like why can't we get some butterball stuff man you know come on 
Let's show some love to the fucking fat characters in comics. Um, you know, the following is not meant to sound... I love Black Panther. I, I've seen it three times. I'm probably going to catch it at least one more before it leaves theaters. Um, but, you know, Black Panther has taught us a lesson. If people who are not mainstream see themselves represented in geek media, they're going to come out for it in droves, man. Um, you know, I, I said, you know, Ned Leeds, for me, was one of the greatest moments of joy in Spider-Man Homecoming. It's like, oh my god, there's there's a fat character. And, you know, yes, he's the friend and he's the sidekick, but, you know, he was a fun character. Um, you know, so now we have, in the Avengers Initiative, you know, you got fucking Butterball, man. You know, he was a fun... Average Joe, just a fun character, um, who as soon as, you know, the title got shelved, he kind of went off into nowhere, but, you know, again, uh, the whole idea, you know, um, he, he was North Carolina character, so, anyway, we got a puzzle here, um, something I might put together, we, uh, who knows, uh, we have the pin, and, gee, you know, it's not like I... Is there an Avengers movie coming out? Is, is, is there some kind of an Infinity Gauntlet thing coming out? I, I have no idea. I, I see nothing about that. Oh, my God. 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 Uh, so as I keep ranting about the, uh, the ubiquity of all things um, Avengers Infinity Gauntlets, there is a pack of... I guess we can't call it Post-it Notes because it's from Bic, but... I am definitely taking this to work, and I am, I am using this as my calling card. Um, you know, my, my coworkers know that there are a lot of things that get done because I'm kind of looking around, and it's just like, you know, I'm going in. I'm doing this. I'm taking care of it. Uh, you know, people quibbling and arguing and fighting back and forth. Um, something has to get done, and they're too busy pushing it off onto other people. It's like, you know, a game of hot potato. I finally come in. It's like, I got it. I'm doing it. And now I have... Infinity Gauntlet themed post-it notes with the quote down at the bottom, fine, I'll do it myself. I, Super Geek Box, I really hope you have these for sale on your website because I, I want to buy several of these just to keep in my desk for those moments. Um, I'm, I'm loving everything about this box so far. It is like a little series of moments of joy. Uh, and now we're to the t-shirt. And I'm actually going to have to go on the t-shirts and probably downsize my size. Uh, I've been working very aggressively on getting my weight in check since the beginning of January. And I've pretty much dropped from a three to a two. I can I can wear threes. Like, you know, this is a three right now. Kind of big, kind of baggy. Um, I guess I'll see how it works when it... Oh, shit. Uh, I'll, I'll see how it works when it shrinks because, you know, t-shirts do shrink. And I'm, I'm kind of at that weird cusp. Depending on who the designer is... Um, a 2XL is going to be baggy, or a 2XL is going to be tight, or in the case of Ralph Lauren, a 2XL is not going to fit me at all, but that's for the Gentleman's Series that I do, and I won't talk about that here. This t-shirt, though, my god, I am definitely wearing this. I may even wear it tomorrow. It is Darth Vader with the Infinity Gauntlet. I, you know, just god damn it. Um, I, I've seen pieces of art like this before, it's just, you know... I, I'm loving this. Everything about this box, uh, Super Geek Box, fantastic. Love the box. Loving y'all. Um, so we'll do just a quick recap. Uh, we have our card on the inside. Um, so Super Geek Box 3.0 Emerald Green Edition. Uh, the most awesome Super Geek hat. Well, unfortunately, that's probably not going to fit me. Uh, Epic Nostalgic Super Geek Shirt. Super cute footwear, socks, uh, and a very special pickle. Oh, guys, come on, man. I'm, I'm officially in Rick and Morty fatigue. If this is what I think that we're getting in there. Um, so we'll just do our quick uh, recap here. So on the back is the listing of the items in the box. And, you know, first and foremost, we have this amazing Darth Vader Infinity Gauntlet shirt. Uh, we have the Infinity Gauntlet post-it notes. I'll do it myself. We have, now they're calling this a bonus item, uh, the Avengers puzzle. And then finally, we have the Spider-Man Tsum Tsum 3D Light, uh, as well as the button. So, there we go, folks. Uh, that is your March 2018 Super Geek Box unboxing. 
course, at this point in time in the video, if you want to go ahead and subscribe, please, by all means, hit the subscribe button. Um, I, I kind of subscribed right now, kind of the big three of the Geek Boxes, Geek Fuel, uh, Super Geek Box, and Loot Crate. Um, and, you know, like I said, if Nerd Block comes back, uh, you know, maybe, uh, you know, I'm kind of like that point, you know, your, your ex burns you, and then about six months later, they come sniffing around, and you're lonely, and it's like, oh, God, you know, do I, do I want to bring them back? Do I not want to bring them back? Um, we'll see. We'll, we'll see what kind of outreach they do to the subscribers who got burned when they spontaneously combusted back in August. Um, if you want to leave some comments, please, by all means, leave comments. I do try to go in and engage people, uh, both good and bad. Um, you know, even though bad comments, I, I own the fact I, I will get snarky. Um, and then, yeah, finally, that's it, folks. So uh, I will see everybody next month for the April 2018 Super Geek Box Unboxing. So until then, be good, be good to each other, and stay safe out there. And Joffrey, man, rest in peace. You were a part of my childhood. You were a part of my adulthood. We're gonna fucking miss you, big guy.